It is Sunday, it is August the 23rd, and right now there are tropical storm warnings and wind warnings in effect for Carbonera. The storm shifted us around 5 p.m. this evening, okay? And uh, right now its maximum sustained winds are 138 kilometers an hour, and it's moving north-northeast at 43 kilometers an hour, and the central pressure right now is at 96.2 kilopascals. Now, we have been watching this very closely over the past couple days now. It appears that uh, what we've been projecting all along will indeed happen. And uh, since there are tropical storm warnings and wind warnings in effect, I'll tell you what they mean. Uh, according to Environment Canada, who issues these warnings, therefore we give you the warnings that they issue, uh, a tropical storm warning means that sustained gales, winds of 65 kilometers an hour or more, are expected in the specified area within 24 hours. By nature, a tropical storm also implies the threat of local flooding and heavy rainfall. A wind warning means that potentially damaging winds are expected or occurring in these regions. Monitor weather conditions and listen for updated statements. Now, we are expecting a strong south to southwesterly winds for the Carbonier area this e uh, late this evening, tonight, and into tomorrow. And we are projecting it to reach upwards of 120 kilometers an hour. Strong northerly winds are also forecast for areas the west of us, but for here in Carbonier, again, we can see wind gusts up to 120, which is a hurricane. Basically, we, we expect to build it just as, as a tropical storm, but the wind gusts, there will be hurricane force wind gusts, meaning the winds are over 117. Okay, so for Newfoundland in general, although Bill is, is expected to weaken below hurricane strength as it passes over Nova Scotia this afternoon, it is expected to make landfall over southeastern Newfoundland tonight as a strong tropical storm. Winds of 70 km an hour gusting to 100 except 120 in the Caribbean area are expected in the areas south of Bill's track. Heavy rains associated with Bill are expected to move into western Newfoundland as well this afternoon and spread eastward tonight. Amounts of 60 to 80 millimeters with locally higher amounts of 140 are forecast for western Newfoundland for us here in Carbonier. We shall receive about 30 to 40 millimeters of rain tonight, and then about 2 millimeters into tomorrow. Strong south to southwesterly winds will develop south of Bill's track tonight, with gusts possibly reaching 120 along exposed areas of the coast as well, over the Avalon Peninsula. And additionally, the waves, there's actually a special weather statement out simply for the uh, expected wave heights. They're expected to be extremely high and rush onto shore really quick. I know the great to watch but they are very dangerous and can be deadly if you do get close to these waves. And uh, back to the winds hormone, they're expected to reach 120. That is strong enough to bring down power lines. I'm not saying it will happen, but the possibility is there. So as we've been saying all week, you should definitely have your emergency kit ready. And of course, we at Carbon Air Weather will keep you updated throughout the day. And um, the latest uh, National Hurricane Center track map actually shows the storm, uh, the eye of the storm, and to be a tropical storm passing directly over the uh, Carbonier and Bacaloo Trail area. So when it passes over the, the center, it's not going to be uh, something from a movie, you know, it's not going to be really windy, and then, uh, then all of a sudden there's this pocket of, you know, calm weather, but uh, it is expected to pass over, so we will get the brunt of the winds, and again, the, wind, uh, the rain will not be such a big issue. And this is not the only video for today, we will keep you updated throughout the day and give you updates as we project them and as they become available, both from the Canadian Hurricane Center, Environment Canada, and also the National Hurricane Center. Stay tuned and uh, to our website. All the warnings are there. Uh, you can read them. They're, in the, they're there in their entirety, as well as the uh, special weather statements and also all the hurricane um, information statements. So head on over to our website and stay tuned for these videos.